everyone and welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy Ivor and Spice back at it again with another match reaction. And remember guys, if you are new to the channel, remember to subscribe, smash that like button, remember to share because sharing Ivor and Spice is caring. Boom! And today guys, it's Chelsea nil, Manchester United nil. Manchester United dropping two points against Chelsea. Another game against the top six, yet Manchester United failing to win a game against the big boys. And what kind of message does that send to you, Manchester United Holics? If you're not impressed with that or if you're pleased with that, you must have a problem. You must have a problem if you are pleased with that result. Because it just shows that Manchester United are not going for a title fight. Manchester United are not ambitious. Manchester United are pleased to have second place or just finishing the top four. Manchester United again, a back-to-back -back goalless draw and you can clearly see Manchester United failing to test the opposition's goalkeeper. It says a lot about what we are doing in training. What are we doing in training? Do we train guys? Gosh, Oli, what do you treat these guys in training? Absolutely F all because all because what are we seeing on the pitch we are seeing a team that does not know what to do with the ball when they have the ball they cannot keep it ball retention is just lacking and one thing i have to say with ball retention it's important to have ball retention in a competition such as the premier league in a tough competition like the Premier League, you need to be able to keep the ball because this counter-attacking football, this highlight FC football that we play, you know, individualism, is not sustainable. And again, yet again, again, we fail to beat a team in the top six this season. What has happened to our attackers as well? Why are we not attacking the goalkeeper? Oli, why? Why? Players, why? Why are we not having shots against the goalkeeper? Why are we not competing with the ball going forward? Why are we not progressive with the ball? Why do we not have any ball retention? I just don't know. I don't know. But yeah, I am so annoyed. Man, them, guys, um, I, I don't get it, man. I don't get it. I, I have to sit here. Yeah, time and time again. Watch a game, Manchester United. We are so shit with the ball. It hurts my feelings. It hurts my soul. Sometimes my soul wants to leave my body because he's, he's, he's there saying, I've already spice. I cannot handle seeing Manchester United play any more time. You know, looking through your eyes, I'm, I'm tired. I'm tired. I've got to leave your soul because I can do better. You know, I'm allowed to enjoy life. God did not send me here to just take misery and suffering for the rest of our life. We do not deserve this. And yet, Manchester United and Olympics, you do not deserve this as well. If you guys are happy with this, um, what you're seeing right now, this shenanigans, you know, this mediocrity football, you know, this mediocre football, guys, then be happy, because I am not. I am not. Call me negative, call me sour, I don't care. I'd say that how it is, fam. This is the worst Manchester United way of playing or system. I don't even know what to call it, because we're all confused. What are we? We don't know what we are. We definitely don't know what we are. We are finding Nemo. We are trying to find ourselves. We are trying to find ourselves, our inner self. What are we? We sit down on the mountain, look at the stars and look at the skies at night time. Boxing God, who am I, God? Why am I here? Because that's what we are as Manchester United. You know, what do are we doing? And that game, guys, I don't know what to say about that game. It's a nil nil. We get a point. I, I can't even tell you if we're, whether we're second right now. But if we are, thank God, because God help us, guys. God help us. Especially with that VAR, guys, that VAR decision that happened in the early start of the game. Yes, I thought that it was a penalty. Yes, he should have given it a penalty. Especially the fact that the video assistant referee told the referee to stop whatever he's doing and go and look at the monitor. Well, with the referee having his own opinion and mind made up, thinking that it wasn't a penalty, that's up, that's down to him. But I thought it was a penalty team, Manchester United Holics. Manchester United Holics, Manchester United are letting us down slowly and surely. You know, I'm optimistic that we can still finish second or in the top four. You know, because that's what it looks like. That's what we will be accepting this season. And it's another game where we fail to be a top team. We have Manchester City, I believe, soon. So, 
probably next weekend if if I'm right. I I can't remember, but probably like that. And if we play them, we're gonna get soaked. We are going to get soaked, you know, straight up. We are going to get soaked. I don't care. We're gonna get wetted up in the corner like. Like it was a gang invasion, like it's being surrounded, just getting wet up by every man that's just, just sticking in, in, in to us, like boom, 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 boom. And this t t top right here will turn even more red. Because this is what we're going to get the rest of the season, man. Especially in the big games. Guys, you let me know exactly what you thought of the match there because I thought we wasn't the best, man. We didn't do nothing, nothing towards that keeper. Nothing at all, bruv. Our keeper saying that keeper could have went home and took in the shit, come back. And still mention that I would not have tested that goal. Man of the match today, guys, has to be nobody again. No one deserved it. Don't give the match. It has to go to Oli in the way he set it up the team. Because I, 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 the football we play, things we do with the ball, I, it's so questionable. And I'm fed up. I am so fed up of this. Definitely. You guys, you let me know who you thought you was your man in the match and your donkey of the match because I am not happy with it. No, I couldn't even give you a man in the match. You let me know what you thought of today's match as well. Manchester United Holics, take it in right now because this is what we can drink in right now. You know, it's, we're just going to be drinking um, satisfied wine. Like wine that's just straight coming out from the 2020s. Like, you know, we're not going to be drinking good wine that's come out like the last five, ten years. It's just wine that's just recently come out. Cheap wine is what we're drinking now. That's what they're giving us, this Manchester United team. And this Glazer and this Woodward and Ollie himself, man. Especially, man. Just, we're just drinking fresh wine that just come out of the vineyard that's just been made. And it's not the best things anymore. And when you drink it, you're just drinking it to get waved and pissed. Because at the end of the day, it's cheap. And you know it's not going to be good. And it's still ones that give you disgusting headaches in the morning. That's what we're getting from Manchester United. Disgusting headaches in the morning. Anyway, guys, this has been your match reaction. Your boy, Avoir and Spice. Just not satisfied today, guys, as always. Guys, remember to follow the official Instagram account of Red United TV, which is Red United TV 1, baby. And remember to follow the official TikTok account, which is Red United TV. And remember to follow my personal Instagram account, which is Ivory underscore Spice. The same thing for Twitter and also the Snapchat. And as always, remember to subscribe, smash that like button. Remember to share to everyone that you like, people that you don't like as well. And ladies, remember to share it to your ex-boyfriend and your current boyfriend. Remember when you share them that link and they say, what is this? Tell them it's a man that does it way better than you. And as always, guys. Try to keep yourself united, Manchester United Holics, you know. Try and keep yourself united in the mind and the spirit as well, guys. And as always, remember to keep it red united. I'm out. Boom.